Hi, this is Chris Cardinal with Gear Life Media. We're live at HP's Connecting Your World event in Berlin, Germany, and we're going to talk to Raoul Sud about the new Voodoo Omen PC. All right, Chris Cardinal with Gear Live Media. We're here live at HP's Connecting Your World event in Berlin, Germany. We're here with Raoul Sud from Voodoo PC, uh, HP's elite division. He's going to show us the Voodoo Omen. Raoul, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at, this, this beastly machine here. Yeah, this uh, monolithic structure here. Yeah, is, it's uh, kind of a little uh, Planet of the Apes sort of. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically the, uh, the most... Uh, it's, it's like the pinnacle of performance, this PC. Uh, it's... Uh, it's designed to support two processors, up to 16 cores, four GPUs. It's all liquid cooled. We basically took everything we learned from Blackbird mm -hmm. and we amplified it in Omen. So what's the what's the base default configuration? You say up to two GPUs, 16 cores. Is that in the base configuration, no. or what are you looking at? The, the, well, there is no like low end base configuration. <laughs> of course not. So the base configuration is basically a 790 chipset from Nvidia, mm -hmm. a quad core processor from Intel. And then we're using the, the, the latest next generation NVIDIA cards and SLI, which I can't say the name until they actually announce it. So, right. um, and y you'll notice that everything is rotated here. So, you know, whereas most desktop systems, everything is, the ports come out the back. Well, on this system, there's no ports on the back. So it's very clean on the back. It's clean on the front. The ports actually come out from the top here underneath this panel. Interesting. So then, you know, the customers can plug in everything here. They remove this panel, they plug in everything. And then this panel, this panel, and this panel are all personalizable. Um, you'll notice this door is currently off, but, sure. you know, when, the, when there is a door on there, you can personalize it however you want. I also notice it's got a little bit of the bling with the uh, color-changing LEDs in the middle. Yeah, that's just, right now we're just doing that for the show to show people, you know, but we, we have, like, standard colors that, we're, that we'll set, and then if they want to change the color, they can, so. Actually, how much does this thing weigh? Uh, this is uh, just a little under 100 pounds, so okay, it's... You don't want to get trapped under it. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's made out of 8 millimeter um, cast aluminum, so it's not, you know, it's not uh, designed to be like a lightweight carry-with-me PC. So. so tell me a little bit about the, uh, you were talking earlier, these are the HD dry, uh, bays, right? Yeah, these are hard drive bays. So on Blackbird, we have trays on the system. Uh, here, we just have bays. So basically, you just take a standard SATA drive, you slide it into the machine, it clicks into place. You don't have to worry about any cables or anything, and you just snap it in. So... We basically took what we learned from Blackbird with the trays, and we said, okay, no more trays. We're just going to slide hard drives in the system and click them in, and you're done. And it's adequately cooled. It'll be all right for that? Absolutely. Uh, it's, got, it's got a very advanced liquid cooling system all integrated into the chassis. So basically, we have all copper pipes bent throughout this part of the chassis, built-in reservoir and everything. And then we have these leak-proof quick connects. So basically, you can disconnect components uh, very easily from these things, just disconnect it, and not worry about it leaking and you can replace components very easily so now when you say liquid cooled I think overclocking uh, what's you, the story with that well yeah this system will you know handle overclocking no well, not, it's not gonna be shipped overclocked though it's gonna be shipped at actually no it will be shipped overclocked okay. so okay. and 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 in fact uh, it's it also has a this particular unit has a liquid cooled power supply mm -hmm. so um, how many watts uh, Lee what's the what's the wattage on the liquid cooled power supply 1.2 kilowatt yeah 1.2 so it's a liquid cooled power supply. It's basically every component in here is liquid cooled. There's barely any moving fans. It's very quiet, and that's that's the idea. So you have are these slot loaded uh, on the front right here? Slot loaded bay drives? Yeah, these are slot loaded bay drives, and then we have this uh, this LCD display which shows secondary information. It's not a sideshow. It's like a real display, so you can drag and drop windows to it. You know, you can have. Um, Outlook running on it, or, or visualizations, or Google Earth. Now, you were mentioning to me that you could actually run a separate operating system on the external display, completely separate of yeah, Windows. Completely separate of Windows. We've had, uh, you know, we've been actually doing that as a demonstration. We're showing how you can run Linux on here and Windows on there. But how does, how does it work? Tell me just a little bit about it. Is it is it its own self-contained unit that still talks to? Yeah, it's it's, a, its own self-contained unit with its own uh, VGA adapter, basically hooked up through USB, and it talks through the motherboard uh, CPU and that sort of thing. So what Windows treated as a secondary display, you could drag things to if you, you wanted drag to. Things to it if you want to. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. And uh, tell me a little bit more about what you're looking at. You said the graphics card's not released yet. You can't really talk about it. But how much memory are you looking at on each card, for instance? Uh, you know, I, I'm not even supposed to talk about that. So <laughs> Is it a gig each. Is it a gig each? It's, come on, come on. It's got, right. it's got to be somewhere <laughs> around there. So yeah, yeah. All right. So you're looking at quad core, or dual core, or quad core chips. Uh, quad core. 
And then now, what's the availability going to be like? When's this going to start to hit? When if I if I wanted one, could I get one? No, unfortunately, no. Um, it's it's actually available by invitation only. Okay, so how do you get on that list? You got to be a Voodoo owner to oh, start, okay, and okay. and then eventually we'll open it up. But right now, it's we're inviting our existing customers to come in and buy it. So. When are you planning on shipping them to those who you've invited? Uh, well, we're, we should start shipping in July. So um, what's the base cost? Uh, around seven thousand okay, dollars. Yeah. Okay, so you got to want it. Yeah, you got to really <laughs> want it. Absolutely. All right. Well. That sounds great. It's going to be very interesting to see once you guys open it up to the public uh, who's yeah. going to be able to afford one. But it looks like a very powerful, very impressive machine. And uh, hopefully we'll see a lot of the technology in this box trickle down to some uh, that mere mortals can afford. Yeah. That would be really well, nice. I mean, you know, that's the <laughs> idea. I mean, we've got, you know, as I mentioned before, we've got the Voodoo brand and the Voodoo DNA. And uh, you'll see a lot of this stuff trickle down into Voodoo DNA at some point. So. All right. Well, fantastic. Thanks a lot, Rude. I appreciate it. Thank you. This has been Chris Cardinal from Connecting Your World in Berlin, Germany. Stay tuned for more from Gear Live. Kind of hate you, Nate. Okay, first good. Hi. All right. Hi, this is Chris Cardinal. We're live from, Bur is it close to the base? Sparky has a mic down here. How, what do you want me to do? Um, close through whenever it's fine. Okay. Because I realize I'm kind of shouting into it. Sorry. Hi, this is Chris Cardinal. We're live in Berlin, Jim. We're not live. Yeah, we are. Effectively, we're always live. Thank you. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> Hi, this is Chris Cardinal. We're here with. Now you've, now you, now you've made me self-conscious. How do you like that? 